Welcome again, subscribers and friends, to Back Into Fishing. Well, I'm getting an early start today. I wanted to come out here to uh, Lake Marion because we had some rain yesterday and banks are muddy, so the bank isn't too steep here. So might be a better place to try. Now, I'm not sure when it was last week. Sometime I was here. The vegetation has really come up since then. It's almost, I won't say impossible, a lot harder to find and get into this location where I start on this side of the lake but I did get in and if you watched my last video I broke a rod and the other one I ran out of line on well both of those have been fixed this is a new rod that I had and hadn't used yet it's medium action I'm not sure how it's going to cast this worm but we'll find out here in a moment yeah I can live with that well I didn't manage any bites on the worm so I switched over to the spinnerbait that's worked pretty good in here before. But uh, been working out a little while, a couple more casts and I'm going to move on. What I'm going to do this time I think, because it is a Saturday and lots of other things I can fill my day with today, is I'm going to go across the other side of the lake, work my way up, and then work my way back again and then call it a day. But way too early to call it a day yet. Got a couple more casts, I'm going to move. First cast in this spot. I didn't even have time to put the camera on yet. A ten and a half, eleven inch fish come up and bashed on the spinnerbait. I hadn't been getting anything on the uh, worm, but they say first cast, boom! There he was. Maybe he's got a brother or sister in there. the worm. Not as big as that last one still. It's a fish. Again, I had just changed locations. I'm only 30 feet from where I was, but and first cast, and I was just reaching for the camera when he hit. That's eerie. That happens to me all the time. They'd hit five seconds later, and I got the strike. All right, let's see if that bad boy was there by himself. You just can't get any worse luck than that. And back in he goes. I had just turned the camera off. It wasn't two seconds later, not three feet off the shore, he come up and grabbed that. I never have the camera on when they bite. There's a lot of limbs and such branches whatnot down in the water here. I don't recall if I've gotten any fish out here this year or not, but it definitely looks like a good spot. I've gotten as far as my favorite tree here and haven't gotten any more bites on any of the baits I'm throwing. I was just as far up the lake as I'm going to go. And so I'm going to probably spend 10-15 minutes here, maybe more, throwing a variety of baits around here. See if I can't get something going here before I turn around and start heading back the other way. Well, I have not had another bite all the way back down this side of the lake. I don't know if the water's getting too hot. I'm getting too hot. But the fish had just turned off. Not that they were that turned on to begin with, but you know, I've just broke off the worm twice. I'm not going to tie one back on. Today I'm going to fish the uh, spinnerbait around here a bit. And if I don't get anything, I'm going to call it the day. Well, another fishing trip at an end. Wasn't too bad of a day. I got three small fish. Um, I was here for about three hours. All three of those fish came in about the first hour, hour and a quarter. After that, I did not get a single other bite. But, you know, it's fishing. That's the way it goes. So thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll be back soon with a new video.